The shakuhachi is the traditional bamboo flute of Japan. John Neptune has been playing it in Japan for 20 years. He plays so well that the Japanese have honored him by giving him a traditional name, Kaizen, which means sea mountain. It's unusual for non-Japanese to receive such recognition. First of all, the basic sound is quite exciting for me. In a Western flute, you have uh, a very pure sound is what is highly looked upon. And the shakuhachi, of course, you have a number of different techniques that require you to play with a thrashing breath or a fuzzy kind of sound, much more natural or wind rushing through the bamboo kind of sound. I began shakuhachi in 1971 in Hawaii, and I began playing as part of a research project uh, within ethnomusicology. Now, ethnomusicology, again, is like the study of music and world culture. So I didn't begin so much as a project thinking I would become a, a master performer, but rather this would be my avenue to view Japanese culture. The shakuhachi has always been associated with Zen Buddhism. The philosophy of Zen emphasizes simplicity and the importance of space. There's a Japanese expression, ichion jobutsu, which is uh, one sound enlightenment. And that kind of sounds, uh, sums up the whole, the whole approach to it. You don't need a lot of flash, you don't need a lot of technique. Uh, one note is enough. There's no rhythm in traditional Japanese solo shakuhachi, and there's no melody, so to speak. You have one breath for one phrase. Each phrase is a whole world in and of itself. John wanted more control over the sound of his instrument, so he started making his own, using bamboo from the groves near his house. It's actually not too hot today, so it's pretty nice.
Thank you, Rambo. Any old piece of bamboo won't do. John is looking for a particular shape from the root section, but he won't really know until he digs it up. can't really tell unless you uh, clean it up whether it's going to look really nice or not. This has got, already has holes in it and everything. Uh, and it's, you know, when you get too much longer than this, you aren't gonna be able to, I'm not gonna be able to reach it, but. I waited on an average of at least two years before I even started working on the bamboo after I've dug it up. Once I started working on the flute, uh, I mean I've made a flute, a complete flute in as little as two days. But more typically, uh, it will take on the order of two weeks or so to make a flute if I'm working constantly. And if things don't go right, maybe two months just for the fine tuning process. This is kind of a shorter one, a 1.6 Ishaku, uh, Ishaku Roksun. They often are made in two pieces so that uh, the number of fushi or the nodes and the placement of the holes is set. And it doesn't have anything to do with the sound, but it's set in terms of uh, the aesthetic. So you have one, two, three, four of these root portions down here, and then two holes, five, two holes in the front, one in the back, and six, and then a seventh one at the top where the mouthpiece is. The shape or the form of the thing is pretty prescribed. So to find a bam piece of bamboo that it naturally grows just exactly this length with this number of fushi, or this number of nodes is almost impossible. In one grove, maybe there's one out of 10,000, if you're lucky, you know. The reason I started making flutes was because I didn't like the way that the flute that I was playing on worked for me. So if I wanted to be able to make certain kinds of sounds or have a flute that played with a certain kind of balance, I found that even though I, I asked and talked with a lot of makers and stuff, that I just couldn't get the kind of balance, the kind of response that I wanted. John's flute making was so successful that he now makes them for other musicians as well. Basically, the, the tone color first attracted me to it. Then, after that, I found out it had only five holes and was made out of bamboo. Now, five holes, uh, we have ten fingers. Why only five holes? It's like I didn't realize that until later, but the Japanese often deliberately simplify things. 
and thus create a very special space, a very special kind of beauty in their architecture, in their gardens, in, in their music. I don't make my living playing traditional Japanese music only. I've sort of created my own space, my own direction. John was honored for his mastery of traditional playing style and technique, but his popular success is based on the way he blends shakuhachi into Western jazz styles. John plays together with a huge range of different instruments and with both Western and Japanese musicians. I found sounds while I was in my daily practice that I wanted to use on stage. And unless I wrote those sounds in my own music, no one else is gonna, gonna write them for me. For me, coming in and, and bringing in sort of a different flavor, a different feeling, to the shakuhachi uh, and the music that I make uh, with shakuhachi in Japan is good because it just opens up people to different kind of possibilities. John Neptune likes to approach things differently, so every year he performs in the special atmosphere of a Buddhist temple. His combination of Western and Japanese sound is something new and refreshing in such a setting. John doesn't believe he's helping to preserve a dying tradition, but his music certainly brings the shakuhachi to a wider audience. And if you love the instrument as he does, that has to be good. It doesn't matter if you're American or Japanese or European or, or whatever. Uh, if you have something interesting to say and can say it with conviction 
and sincerity, then maybe you can reach, reach someone. And to sort of get outside of, of what the culture that you were brought up in, I think is a very good process. I've lived just about half of my life now in Japan, built a house here, and this is home, you know? Quite often they say, well, are you American? And it seems kind of funny because I don't really consider myself American in a sense. I don't consider myself Japanese. And I jokingly say, well, where does that leave me? With a name like Neptune, maybe I'm from outer space, right? Hi.